morning, Detroit. How are you today? I am Pastor Shirley Warden, and I'm the pastor of God's Way Deliverance Ministry located in Southfield, Michigan. And I'm also the visionary, the founder of Nurturing Women, which is a women's ministry founded on Titus 2, 3 through 5. And I just want to say to you today, I am so grateful for each and every last one of you tuning in. I'm grateful for all of the comments and the, that we have been getting uh, to let you know that you're out there, that you're listening. I have some friends, and you know, they call me and they say they're watching and I was really honestly surprised because they don't even live in Michigan so you never know who's watching amen amen but I just want to say please tune in every Sunday morning uh, to Comcast channel 20 uh, either google us bgntvgospel.com and I tell you you will be blessed we also on YouTube we have some dynamic speakers and tune in and hear what they have to say amen as you know we've been showing you excerpts from our breakfast and say I know you're already being blessed so tune in as we go further into the service okay thank you God is saying I'm going to release the fivefold ministry anointing acceleration of elevation in my house, said the Spirit of the living God. Some of you sitting here would be an apostle. Some of you sitting here would be a prophet. Some of you sitting here would be an evangelist. Some of you sitting here would be pastors. And some of you would be anointed as teachers. God is saying, move in your gift. Be not still, said the Lord. But move, saith the Lord God, into your calling, into your gift. For I have given it to you, and I have people waiting for you to move in your gift, saith the Holy Spirit of the living God of Israel. The second, the Lord.
It's time to get up and go. It's time to get up and do the ministry God has called you to. It's time to get up and forgive those you need to forgive. It's time to get up and start that business God has been telling you about. It's time to get up and organize and get together and unify the body of Christ.
And it feels like you're on a merry-go-round. And you can't find a fighter. But I see it in you, so we gon' work it out. Move mountains, we gon' walk it out.
It's so good for us to be here. Yes. Amen. It's good for us to be here. Yes. Amen. The presence of the Lord is here. Amen. You sense him. He's moving. How many have enjoyed themselves thus far? Amen. This has been a first class event. From the food, from the worship, to the dance, to the ministry, it's been first class. Amen. Well, I'm here because I have the distinct privilege to be able to introduce Pastor Shirley. Uh, most of us are here because of Pastor Shirley or someone that's connected to Pastor Shirley. Amen. How many of you know that God uses people? Yes. Amen. He uses people and he causes us to spill into one another's lives and to influence one another's lives. And I believe that many of us, God is trying to take us to another place in our walk and our relationship with him. Amen. How many know that God's not done with you? Amen. Amen. There's more to come. There's more he wants to do. Amen. And the reason why I say that God uses people is because I believe Pastor Shirley is one of those special people that God uses. Amen. The Bible says this in Joshua. Joshua, he says, I'm going to take you in a new way. I'm going to take you in a way that you've not been before. And what's unique about the passage is it comes out of what happened in the wilderness. The wilderness, there was a cloud by day and there was a pillar of fire by night. And when they wanted to know what God was doing, when they wanted to know where God was, all they had to do was look up. All they had to do was get up and follow the cloud and move with the cloud. But something happened in Joshua. That cloud that they were so familiar with looking at and seeing disappeared. And now God said, what I want you to do is, I want you to follow some leaders that have a box on their shoulders, and they're going to lead you into a place that you've not been before. Amen. And I believe that Pastor Shirley, she is a mother, a grandmother. She is the founder of Nurturing Women. She's a pastor. But I believe that she's a woman that has the glory of God on her shoulders and she is anointed to help lead you into your new season. And I want to encourage you that as she comes to receive her, as she comes to listen to the word of the Lord, the creative rhema of God that's in her mouth, to help you, to thrust you, into your new place, into your destiny. Amen? amen? Let's receive Pastor Shirley with an amen and say, Pastor Shirley, amen. preach the word!
Amen. I know you hate it because I have to interrupt uh, anything. But I have to interrupt and I have to let you know that, listen, just be blessed. Listen, the show, everything that we did concerning the breakfast, it was to bless you, women. It's God's blessing to you. So I'm asking you today to tune in and sit back and listen because God wants the best for each and every last one of you. And I'm so grateful because even though this breakfast is for women, men are being, are coming. And they are being blessed by the word of the Lord because, you know, the word of God is not gender oriented. It's for male. It's is for female it is for whosoever will let him come amen so i'm saying today to you have an ear to hear what the spirit of the lord god is saying and we will see us here next month amen and as we get farther and farther i know you're going to be blessed when you hear the word of the lord and what god has to say to you because he loves you and he's concerned about you and i want to say if you're watching today and maybe you don't know jesus as your lord and as your savior i'm just saying to you today all you have to do is to repent god wants you to surrender all amen because sometimes you know we say lord i surrender sometimes i give up but we don't really give it all to him Trust me, God can handle it. Whatever your problem, whatever your situation or your circumstance is, I want you to know today God can handle it. So just repent, ask God to forgive you, invite him to come into your life, take full control. Just surrender to him. Amen. And so I say to you until next time, know that God loves you, I love you, and be blessed. Everybody, this is your girl Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times. And you are watching Bell Global Network. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Vicki Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network.